Hey, what's going on RC drivers? Welcome back to the channel. If you're into scale stuff, this is a video you're going to want to check out. We have the RC four wheel drive scale V8 engine back on the workbench. We've done some videos on it before and today we're going to scale it out even more with some new parts from Rogue Element, which is exclusively distributed by RC four wheel drive. And it is a licensed Edelbrock detail kit for it. This is some really cool stuff really detailed and uh, it's a full kit it gives you instructions and all the parts you need to really step up the scale factor of this engine now what we're going to do today is just bolt this on there's a whole bunch of different steps to putting this on the vehicle so you can make it look really cool but uh, we're just going to get it on there because i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that v8 engine yet i might put that in another vehicle but i want to show this to you because it's really cool so why don't we head over to the bench and i'll show you what comes in the kit so I've gone ahead here and laid out everything that comes in the kit. And just for a little eye candy, there's the RC four wheel drive V8 engine, love that. But this is everything, well, not everything, but it's everything you're going to need to really dress up this engine even more. I mean, these stock parts look pretty cool, but to have a licensed Edelbrock uh, air filter valve covers on there, I think that's really awesome. And it does take a, a few more things. You're also gonna need some paint, some CA glue, uh, some basic hobby tools and stuff. But let's start off here with these machined aluminum parts. These look absolutely fantastic. They did a great job with these. Uh, they're recessed, so you can go and paint the uh, fin between the fins to really make this stand out, kind of like an Edelbrock uh, valve cover would come. However, I'm gonna go with the quote unquote classic. Just leave it the aluminum color for now, because I'm not sure if I want to paint these black or red. The air filter typically has black paint in the recesses there, but they're really, really well machined. And it, the instruction manual will really go through the process of how to detail these with the paint so you can get the best uh, detail when you're done with it. And they give you these sanding pads, the sanding paper here as well, so you get a nice shine when you're done. And it will explain the process because uh, you don't use primer, you have to wash it, you have to sand this multiple times, and you'll really want wind up with a nicely detailed uh, part or parts I should say. But here's what else comes in the kit. So there is that sanding stick. It actually has two sides to it. There's the sanding paper. And we have this heat shrink tubing here and that goes with the, uh, the, the spark plug wires. So they give you enough wire in here. They give you the distributor cap and you have to go ahead and make all your spark plug wires basically. They even give you the lengths for it in the instruction manual. And the instruction manual, again, I'm probably gonna say this a couple times, comes in really handy for just walking you through getting this built up. So I think if you don't have a ton of scale modeling experience, I think this is a pretty good kit to get into detailing with because uh, it's really well laid out, really documented well in the instruction manual. And uh, you know, it looks like it's gonna be fairly easy to put together. But here's all the other parts in there. They give you wire guides, four hole, three hole, and two hole wire guides for the spark plug wires. Uh, this white strip here actually goes in the air cleaner. It's a strip of fabric, so it looks like a, a uh, fabric air cleaner in there. And then they also give you this mesh grid so you could run that along the outside as well. It really depends on how wild you want to get with the detailing of this kit. But also in there is uh, some Edelbrock decals. You get some Rogue Element decals and then you get your mount for your distributor and, and uh, that gets installed towards the end. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to go and paint this just yet. Let me know what you would paint it in the comment section below. I'm interested. I might put this engine into my Silver Blazer. This is my Tremors tribute build. That was a lot of fun, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it that much. That's why I might switch out the engine for my other RZ four-wheel drive kit. So I'm going to start building this thing up and uh, show you guys some of the highlights along the way. And of course, show you uh, what it looks like when it's finished at the end.
looks pretty cool. Killer scale detail on this engine now. The Edelbrock logo looks pretty awesome. Rogue Elements and RC four wheel drive did a great job with this scale detail kit. Now, let me just walk you through a little bit of uh, how I got this thing assembled. And I started off by just tearing apart the engine, taking the valve covers off, taking the, uh, the distributor off that I had, all the wires. I actually had to take the headers off. Those are aftermarket. Uh, but it was easier to get the wires off, took the air cleaner off. And then I started by cutting all of the wires, the links that they should be uh, in the manual. So I cut them all. Uh, you have to cut them on a 45 degree angle because it makes it easier to get into the distributor cap. And once I did that, I screwed the wires into the uh, the head here. And basically I did that because they didn't really push in and the manual kind of says you push them in, but I went and threaded them in and I think that's gonna be a lot better so they don't pull out. But basically I kind of worked backwards, I think from what the manual said and, and started with the wires. Once I had the wires in, I put the loom covers on to keep everything nice and neat. You do have to trim those out, use an X-Acto knife to uh, open up the holes because it's, I think it's printed. Um, but once I did that, I went and put all the looms on and then I put the distributor cap onto the bracket and mounted to the top of the intake manifold. And uh, then I ran all my wires. Luckily, they give you the firing order in the manual here so you know how to wire everything properly. Once I did that, I, I slipped all of the heat shrink on uh, uh, to make the boots onto the distributor cap and wires. Then I went and put all the wires in. Once all the wires were in, I put a little dab of super glue on the top. They say in the manual to put it on the wire before you put it into the distributor cap. Uh, I did the reverse and once that was done, that's when I slid the heat shrink on and uh, shrunk it down with a heat gun. Everything was really simple. Just put the valve covers on. Actually, before I did that, I put the breather caps on, those screw on, then just screwed the, uh, the valve covers down to the heads and then uh, uh, assembled my air filter. So there isn't any fabric in the kit. I found this piece of plastic and it kind of looks like uh, you know breather material here, uh, the fabric material of an air filter. So I put that in and they also have a, a wire mesh that could go around the outside as well. I opted not to do that. Actually, sorry for my beat up hands. I've been doing some jackhammering in my basement. So my hands are all beat up from that. But anyway, um, uh, you could also go and put a coil on. Uh, this is gonna get mounted somewhere inside, maybe on the firewall. So I'll do that once I go and install the body, but that is included as well. So there's things you could do to you know customize it. You don't have to put this on. You know, you can leave it as a bare filter like I have it. Uh, so, you know, and, and the other thing is you could go and paint everything as I mentioned before and I'm kind of glad that I waited because I was going to paint these red, uh, the valve covers red and if they're seeing it inside the truck, I, I think I want to paint those black. So I'm glad I waited on that. But overall, this is a really cool kit. It says on page one of the instructions to use your patience and you definitely need to use your patience. I had to actually pull some things apart a couple times because I forgot to put some of the shrink wrap on, I uh, forgot to put some of the loom, uh, the loom pieces on. So yeah, it takes a little bit extra time. Just go slow with it and you'll, you'll have a lot of fun assembling it. And if you're a scale detail type of person, the end result is absolutely awesome. Love what RC four wheel drive did here. So the engine dress up kit is about $140 and it is a little on the pricey side, but you're getting aluminum parts that are licensed and I can't imagine they're making a ton of these things which probably contributes to why the cost is what it is so you know it's a really nice kit when it comes down to it and it really dresses up this RC four-wheel drive engine I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested and you can check out more information over on the RC four-wheel drive site about the kit while you're down there hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell throw the video a like and we'll see you back soon for some more RC driver videos